Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and let's get started with this delicious non-vegetarian party menu. This menu spread is for 10 to 12 persons and it consists of biryani, chicken korma, tandoori chicken, dal bukhara, baklava, salad and raita. I started my preparation previous night by marinating 2.5 kilograms of chicken in juice of 2 lemons, 1 tablespoon of salt and 1 fourth cup of tandoori masala. This is my homemade tandoori spice mix. It doesn't need ginger and garlic paste. You can find the link in description box. Here I am marinating 2 kilograms of meat in 2 cups of yogurt and a tablespoon of salt. You can adjust it according to your taste. I also soaked black hole urad dal previous night to make dal bukhara. However, I haven't shared the recipe because it's already on my channel and you can view it by clicking on the card. Here start the new day with preparation of baklava and for that I have used some walnuts almonds, cashews and fresh grated coconut. You can use any nut or nuts of your choice. It's around one and half cups. And then chop it finely. These are store bought baklava sheets. I bought it from the Turkish store. It have 12 sheets. It's very dry and you have to handle it with care. First of all, I cut it in the shape of my baking dish so that it fits in nicely. Here I'm trying to adjust. Cutting it in the shape of baking dish. And the second round. Here I am melting 250 grams of butter with 1 fourth cup of oil. And once it's melted, the process started. Greasing the tray with lots of butter. Layering the sheets. First, I use the leftover strips on base and make it as a layer. Once the layer is formed, I slather it with butter. And then comes the second layer. Continue the process till half of your sheets are used. Half of the sheets are used here, so making a layer of chopped nuts, an even layer. Then again repeat the process, putting a sheet, slathering with butter, again sheet, then butter. Continue the process till all your sheets are finished. Now all of them are used on lots of butter on last layer. Cut into square. Pour in the remaining butter. Goes in the oven for 35 minutes. 
preheated 180 degrees centigrade and here I am making sugar syrup 2 cups of sugar 1 cup of water boiling it for one stick consistency add it 1 4 teaspoon juice of lemon so that the crystals doesn't form in sugar syrup once it done cool it down a bit and pour it on the baklava when both have approximately same temperature baklava is ready moving on taking out the marinated chicken from refrigerator adding one cup of curd and one foot cup of oil to it and after giving it a proper mix poking it with a knife preparing chicken korma thickly sliced onions 5 medium sized half cup of oil sauteing it till it changes the color I used 1 and half kg of chicken for this korma sauteing it at medium heat at this stage I will take the onions out of the pot and in same pot and remaining oil I will add again one more cup of oil puree this once cooled two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste saute for one minute Adding puree of one large tomato, saute till the raw smell goes off. One teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon red chili powder, one teaspoon Kashmiri lal mirch powder, two tablespoon of coriander powder. 1 teaspoon of cumin powder salt as per taste now add the chicken pieces here I am transferring it into a bigger vessel because for me it was not very convenient to saute in the smaller one chicken will start releasing its juices cook it on medium high sauteing it occasionally so that it doesn't stick on the bottom and cook it till all the water dries up and it started releasing oil here we can see that chicken has released oil and all the juices are dried up adding the onion puree and saute it for around 3 minutes here I want to tell you that at this stage I am boiling the black urad dal in pressure cooker on another burner the recipe is not in this vlog but you can click the card to get its full recipe in three to four minutes it's going to change the color at this stage pour half cup of water and cook it covered for 20 minutes after 20 minutes the 
it's ready now adding in five green chilies one tablespoon of garam masala I didn't add much red chili powder because we prefer it less hot but if you prefer more you can add more red chili powder around one or two tablespoons and this is green coriander and the chicken is ready for the biryani I soak five cups of golden sela basmati rice in water I generally prefer golden sela basmati on parties because it doesn't get mushy if it's overcooked or something like that I also fried seven medium sized of onions thinly sliced till crisp so that I can use that in biryani and for this green masala I use two medium sized onions four to five green chilies three inch of ginger eight to ten cloves of garlic one and half cup of coriander one cup of mint for dry spice mix I use six inch stick of cinnamon one tablespoon of black pepper five to six black cardamom 12 13 cloves two flower of mace two star anise 10 to 12 pieces of green cardamom and five bay leaves grind it into a coarse powder Now mixing in chopped green masala if you don't have chopper you can grind it in grinder a little coarse and the dry spices also you can use ginger and garlic paste more if you want I have used a little less because ginger in my place is very strong so to avoid that I have comparatively used less amount of ginger and garlic and here goes around one fourth cup of ghee or you can use mix of ghee and oil adding in around two tablespoon of laziza biryani masala here adding one tablespoon of shazira and one and half teaspoon of nutmeg powder adding one fourth cup of oil using the same leftover oil after frying the onions it gives a nice flavor preparing tadka for biryani rice three tablespoon of oil whole spices of your choice I added three bay leaves one star anise some cloves cinnamon black cardamom basically you can add any khada masala or whole spices of your choice to give it the flavor cook it a little bit till it changes color pour water and close the lid immediately so that all the flavors are infused within then adding more water for preparing biryani rice you generally have to add double the amount of water what you normally use to cook your rice so for example if you use three cups of water to cook two cups of rice you here you have to add six cups of water salt also add double the amount because we are going to drain all water and salt is also going to be drained so it should always be double amount of salt and double amount of water what you normally use to cook your rice half a juice of lemon and uh, let it boil once it comes to a boiling point add your rice and cook the rice till it's half done once it's half done drain it you have to wait till it's half done and here I am checking it's half done I will drain it rice already drained now preparing the layers of biryani here goes one and half teaspoon of ghee 
little bit of fried onions and all the marinated meat this is the first layer this is hyderabadi kachi gosht ki biryani so meat layer will be at the bottom so that it gets cooked properly then layer of fried onions some more ghee around 1 and 1/2 tablespoon now adding rice more ghee 1 and 1/2 tablespoon some more fried onions coriander now i'm going to pour the mixture it's half cup of milk 1 tablespoon of rose essence and 1 teaspoon of food coloring you can use kevra essence also but i use rose one time to seal the pot traditionally it was sealed like uh, they used to close the lid and then seal it side with dough but nowadays you can seal it with aluminum foil i am using it like this here to seal it so that the pressure doesn't escape the steam doesn't escape and there is a pressure built in inside the pot and meat is cooked properly i added two layers of foil here and now cover it with a lid make sure that there is no leaks there and the steam doesn't escape keep it on medium high for 5 minutes till steam is formed once the steam is formed cook it for around 1 hour on low heat make sure that heat is evenly distributed on bottom of this vessel if it's not possible on your stove just put one flat pan uh, heat it and keep this pot on it for 1 hour i also put my marinated chicken in the oven to roast at 200 degrees centigrade and so that the biryani and chicken is ready at the same time and all of my food is ready to serve thanks for watching hope you like this video take care bye bye see you next time